Hi, Dr. Greg here again with uh, some more um, tips on how to impact or excite your parasympathetic nervous system. Now, we went through three the other day, or three more today. Um, one is basically touch. Touch another human being. I know in this environment we have right now, it's not uh, acceptable to hug. However, if you have a partner that you've been with, it's more than acceptable to hug them as much as possible in the day. Touch, um, feeling, massages, even like I just said about kissing. Kissing is uh, a positive uh, stimulator of the parasympathetic nervous system. Even kissing other uh, parts like the neck or the elbow or the hand all stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system for, for both individuals. The other thing that is very interesting is repetitive prayer. Now, whether you're a Christian, Muslim, or atheist, whatever, just saying, uh, coming up with some kind of prayer that you say repetitively can actually stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. Um, and the third one for today is play with children or animals. There's a reason why pets are very uh, calming and excite the parasympathetic nervous system, especially when you pet them. Uh, uh, they like it. It's called pet, petting. Um, and uh, pets are very soothing and very stimulatory to the parasympathetic nervous system, as well as child play. Child play is um, fantastic for stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, especially if you're playing with children. Um, there is uh, studies that show that that actually calms you and um, and uh, causes an increase in parasympathetic tone, we call it. So there's the three for today. Um, again, let's reiterate, we have uh, repetitive prayer, hugs, kissing, as well as playing with animals and children. So there you go. Um, this is Dr. Greg, changing the way we look at health.